Friday morning. Janet's just been down to the exchange on a 50 yarder. Uh, I've got this 8 yarder of alloys going now, and then we're going to start using the 20 yarder from now on. Nathan's coming through with this absolute shell. Nathan, uh, that course, we need to get down that course of D. Aye. Screen. Can I take it out back on? It's nothing, I think. Is it? I said it is. I'll get it down in a minute. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you when these alloys uh, go. I might try and get a bit of drone footage as well. Just struggling with the drone footage because it's physically taking someone a bit of time non-stop on the drone and I'm not very good at flying it. But I want to try and learn. So yeah, all good. Got three ton in on the depollution. Just getting on top of everything. And I said to Kenny yesterday, make sure you're in today. It's not in. Mess up. You are? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Two videos a week. You're on it now. What? You're on the YouTube. You're famous. Ja Jarrett's a full blown celebrity now, you know. He's been doing autographs. Literally. So, yeah, we're going to get these alloys gone now. A uh, quick exchange. Then we're going to start doing the 20 yarders from now on, like I was saying before. Do you know everyone always has a favourite time of the day? Well, Zoe's is this time. Oh, definitely yours. I get people. Get I get people calling up mentioning about you and food. Ah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm meant to be on a diet, and you get me manning. Oh, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Right, everybody. Also, just want a quick update on the window motor. What I took off my car. I've managed to do a super bodge two K seven with all this. Uh, I've glued the cog with some araldite and uh, I'm hoping this works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy a brand new one, which is 30 quid. No way, not 30 quid. Sorry, I'm joking, obviously. About, well, a new one would be, I don't know how much a new one is, but a second hand one is about 200 quid. So, yeah. I had my dinner earlier, so I'm only on the bag of crisps. Why did you have your dinner earlier? I had dinner at half ten. <laughs> oh, you're allowed to have in school where we ate his dinner earlier. Yeah. What, what have you got, Jack? Potato? Yeah. Don't get the controversy on. People don't know about tuna beans and cheese. What? Of course you do. I think it's disgusting. Jack and potato with cheese, beans, and tuna. Unbelievable. It's all quite busy. Um, that's nowhere. So I don't really dare say we've been busy. Nowhere. We've been flat out, but because we've got on top of everything all this week, we're actually today. It's been like yeah, a bit lost. Soon, a bit lost. Nathan's having a quick three tons having a quick meeting with John, but I'm just trying to sort out what the freak he's got on his head. What are you waving on your head? <laughs> 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 it's me Daisy hat. <laughs> I'm going to see how Daisy it feels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, you look like a little rat. If you Google wait, rats, wait, wait till I get my wellies on and get sheep legs down. If you actually go in the in the in the Oxford Dictionary and wow. Google rat, there'll be a picture of Nathan. No, not Google rat. Search rat. What is team rats? Yeah. <laughs> right, it's the end of the day. Right. Whoa, you bloody man! Right, yeah. right, see you in a bit. End of the day. Uh, constructive day. Three ton, not three ton, fruitcake is just repairing three tons, little mistake what he made, which I'll show you. Right, 
brand new lenses. Guess how much them lenses was? 200 quid. No, we're making three tonne look bad. So three tons backed into this Land Rover, not giving it to him. He don't care. Do you know what the worst he doesn't care, does he? He's waltzing around the yard. And laughed about it. Laughing. Do you know, and I'm here fixing it. Yeah, and, and it's, it's costing you an hour's overtime yeah, it's past, now. Yeah, it's past five o'clock. I'm paying overtime to fix this. It should be near from banging this on for free. Yeah. But three ton, nah. In his own time. Don't do it. What do you reckon, James? What? Who should be putting that lens on? You. Three ton. What do you mean, me? You. Better time you did something. <laughs> what are you having a laugh? Whoever broke it should put it on. Hang on, who put these bolts in? Chris. Because he ripped the bed to bits. What, you can't get the lens off? <laughs> He's gone through fucking light vision. Ah! <laughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> right, so Chris has broke the 200 quid back light. Look, look, look. Did you not hear the crack? Oh, a grinder oh, it out, oh, Jesus Chris, Christ, you bloody Chris. bodge. Where's the bodge? Oh, my here? God. Look at him, Chris the bodger. <laughs> Why? Why? He's got he's got what high vis high vis uh, armbands as well. Right, he's a bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> I chewed that. No, get lost. Get grinded, you put man. a bolt straight, bolt straight through, through that. Fucking light fitting. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. You <laughs> couldn't see it from top. <laughs> oh my God! Right, listen, they weren't expecting me to change them both for I tell you well, what. Do you know what that was? He kept it quiet though. Didn't didn't he? He? Are you looking? Are you looking? Right, what this is? Yeah, I'm looking. You look drilled for the top. Who grinded the bolts off? Oh, that one, Ethan! Oh! oh! <laughs> Listen! So it's not fucking me! Right, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> you had nothing to do with me, look! No, Ethan's grinding it and not said out! Oh my god! These two! Oh, no, you <laughs> so sabotage me! The business! <laughs> nothing to do Did with me! Did you see that comment, sabotage your sprinter? Yeah! He's done that one on that one! Nothing to do with me! I think it's oh. I'd love to have seen Chris's face when he drilled it and it cracked and he's no, it didn't. He oh had already fell off when he ground it off. Don't fucking come that bollocks. <laughs> right. Nathan meant to do this side so yeah, he could yeah, blend yeah, that yeah. in. <laughs> and that only broke when that all got bent. Oh, that'll. Oh, you mean when you just had to drop the car off it yesterday? When it Whoa, fell off backwards. Whoa! I didn't hear about oh, this. Did you not see it? No. <laughs> no. He actually Sorry. unstrapped the car and thought he could drive forward with no handbrake on. No, handbrake it was in gear as well. No, it wasn't. Wait! It was. no, How did you drop the car on it? Because because he had the car on the back, he unstrapped it and thought, hang on, I can go for a drive down road with it. I moved and the, and it just, the, the, the van went forward, the car stayed where it were, it just went bang up back. It's like you've dipped shit. I've picked up thousands of cars and I've never damaged anything. Yes. What what have I damaged? Look at this. Me. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, yes. it does. All that there, look. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> yeah. The checker plate was not even meant to be there, yeah. Well, I bent that. Well, and how did I damage it. that? You did damage it. Picking up a two and a half ton tire popper. No, not yeah. two. Well no, was it that? No, it was. Uh, you it was the wood burner. Oh no! No, you picked a car up for somebody and got it caught on it. I damaged the replaceable checker plate. What's meant to be replaced? It's not even meant to be there. These the two. The replaceable. That weren't meant to be there originally. Fucking lenses replaceable. Yeah, <laughs> at, at my expense. Because I damaged that. Oh, I'm yeah, not I changing know, it. Look at that. I nearly nick uh, Winston's. <laughs> <laughs> I did, <laughs> off his crafter, because <laughs> it had the same back lens. You, you should have just nicked it. I was actually down there, he's like, have you got any lenses you fit make? He's like, ah, no. I said, well, you've got two there, come on. Still look. keep <laughs> this one, though. <laughs> just, uh, so, we're just going to quickly box this off now, ready for tomorrow, because there's cars to be picked up on uh, Saturday. Won't fit now, because that bolt's sticking through. Yeah, no, no, but seriously, what are we going to do? Just cut the bolt off, uh, rest yeah. of the bolt off. Yeah, wind that out. And just cut the head off it, uh, the just bottom. Get grinder in there now. Because I don't want to wreck that lens, right? Get grinder in again, though. Yeah. Grinder oh, in there. Oh, right, take yeah. It take it up to the note, though. Take it up to the note. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that light's all twisted. Why have what? you twisted it? The light's twisted like that. Why have you done that? Well, who's fit light? Oh, wait, I fit them. <laughs> no, I didn't really, I didn't really. Right, so Merkers are blamed for all this, then. <laughs> in the end. There's someone to blame, and it's none of us. No. Not me. I didn't think it'd be you. <laughs> Nathan, no, Nathan didn't. First. No, Nathan actually fit them first time. He put them on upside down, didn't he? I'm wrong way. When you indicated right, when you it indicated went right, it went left. No, he did. He did. Fuck off. He did. Didn't you, Nathan? No. Oh, I didn't think he'd admit it. But anyway, we're going to end it there. See you in the morning. Saturday morning, everybody. Hello.
Got a special guest in the house today. Uh, Where is he? He always makes an appearance every now and again, doesn't he? No, only when he wants to borrow the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> the real grafter. So there he is, that, Mr. Main, Bailey in the mix. The main part of this video. Yeah, that's not why we're recording. <laughs> Go on, John. Um, two fellow subscribers, local, have come down and oh, dropped man. us off some nice um, Should biscuits. Should I tell the story, you know? But basically... I'm going to have a tea cake. That's going to drop off there. I was driving through Haslingdon, mm. minding my own business, and this woman comes running over to the van with a thumb up, and I'm thinking, who's this? And then she starts doing that, and then she did one of them, a phantom one, I thought, oh, ah, she's a subscriber, eh? mm. And then she screams over, David! She shouts her husband, and then they both come out. So I had a, a little chat with him for five, ten minutes outside the house. Nice to meet you both. I've met them both as well. Yeah, and then, not only that, they've come down on a Saturday with an absolute wow. There Yo, must be. Some money in there. Listen, there must be over twenty quid in the end. Listen, it's either them to have won the lottery or the secret millionaires because there's probably twenty quid in here. Mm. Like, it's not even. It's the decent stuff, John, as well. I mean, oh, foxes. What do you reckon, Matt? Well, what, what would you get in here? Oh, I know what Matt's going for, John. This is oh. this is what you are. <laughs> the ginger nut. <laughs> <laughs> right. There we go. Oh my. Uh, Who's been the Jaffa cakes? Back around some Jaffa cakes. I thought buddy David Richards had drop one. So, David and your wife. Shout out. Shout out for that. We really appreciate if it. If you're willing to come down and buy his biscuits, you deserve a shout yeah. out. And they even got a battery off us. Yeah. And I, we said we'll give it him for free, didn't we? Yeah. <sighs> Forced me to take it. Oh my God. I didn't want to take that, David. But I did take it. Does that mean I wanted to stay? Yeah, it did. It did. Oh, I did. Yeah, my heart did and my brain... No, wait. My heart didn't want it, but my brain did. But we still sold in the battery very cheap. Yeah. So thanks for that. I'll show you a bit of, a bit of footage when Nathan starts pocketing the tea cake. <laughs> tea cake. It's been a busy morning. We'll get on top of that. As always. And we're flat out. As always. So it's brew time. And I'm going to absolutely scram one of these tea cakes. They are good. Shall I go for the, the full thing? Right, James. So, guys, keep tuned in, keep watching. James, that's what we are. Right, and keep subscribing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm thinking. Unbelievably busy. Oh, no, I said it, did I? <laughs> uh, just getting on top of the yard. Three tons out there in the rain. He's doing this because he knows I'm recording for sympathy. In here. As soon as I stop recording, you'll come in. Is that all right? You what? Not bad. Mark, it's break time, you know. Matt is doing a gearbox service. So I think he's doing engine oil as well on his car. Uh, one of my mates, so I just lend him the ramp at weekends. Nine hour Paul's coming down today. He sent me a voicemail. Oh, listen to this story. He sent me a voicemail saying he's coming down with sausage rolls. Mm. Listen to this. Did I? Morning, my old mate. Right, I'll be over about lunchtime. We've got a few bits just to go and sort out for the next half hour. And then uh, I'll be over there with some fresh sausage rolls. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How many, though? You're a little evil laugh on the end. Paul, them sausage rolls are going to go down a treat because now we don't need to buy any dinner. It really depends on what he's bringing down. You're not having one. Really? No, I'm trying to diet. So they're starting on Monday. <laughs> yeah, that's Listen, my, my diet starting on Monday. Diet. I don't know which Monday, but one of them. I'm on the seafood. So, more tyres going. Uh, waste transfer notes, these are the most important thing for the environment. Uh, at the end of the day, with this job, a lot of people are like getting rid of stuff not the correct way. The environmental agency wants to see every single transfer note of every single part of the car what gets recycled or gets disposed of like your oil your batteries your aircon gas your tires even all your metals you, we need to have proof paper trail or it's not looking good because i mean it's not because of that but a lot of with this game there's a lot of like stolen cars and stuff so even with buying the cars you've got to be everything bang on proof of address id 
we've got a full information folder on every single customer we've ever bought a car off and we store the data just in case there ever was something dodgy with a car we can show where it's come from how much we paid trace every part and this is why it's always better to be right and you've got nothing to worry about oh he's hiding he's hiding <laughs> see Saturday service as well you see he's up for it five cars there'll be five cars today won't there yes right does your job say right or not oh my god look at that that's in case he forgets his name that right let's get this unloaded and we'll get fruity back out right sorry that'll do right so we've got this alpha meter in now there's one thing I will say, these are 1.4 T-Jet engines and there's one person who is heavily wedged up these, Marky Boy. Marky Boy. If Marcus was here now, he'd literally be in the exhaust. Hanging out at the back of it. Marky Boy! What He's are you too doing? scared! <laughs> What's he put? Good car best. Marcus exhaust there! Twin! I think he's already had to do an exhaust. <laughs> what, why do you like these? So T-Jet! T-Jet. Alpha Meter! The thing is, you think these are fast though, don't you? They can. You put a bigger turbo on these, yeah, and I'm not blow joking. Up. They blow up. They don't blow up. Listen, they don't blow up. If you want speed, V8 twin turbo. <laughs> That's it. There's, there's no ifs or buts. You want a good car? Get an Alpha! Oh. Rolls-Royce said, if you want a big more power, have more pistols. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, well that plan didn't go to work. Go to plan, didn't it? <laughs> right. That'll do. See oh, you yeah, later. My pants, right, Marky Boy, are you here then, yeah? <laughs> my mate, Marky Boy. I'll tell you what. Anyone who wants a meet all? Quite solid on the shoulders, you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyone who wants a meet all, parts are available. Yeah. And it's a TJ. Did, oh, he used to work for Alpha though, didn't he? Ooh, Fiat. Yeah. Fiat and Alpha, wasn't it? Yes, I was a top tech. Technician. Top tech. Right, we're going to end it there. Right, it's at the uh, dinner time. I just thought I'd quickly get my car on the ramp and do the oil and the filter. Uh, pretty straightforward, actually. It's literally just this big Allen key here. I'm going to drain all the oil. Just let it drain for half an hour. Service it. Well, then it's fully serviced. And then I just need to do some tyres and we should be good to go. This inside tyre is worn here, so I'm going to be changing that. But yeah, ready for the road trip. Yards are uh, organised. Cars have been coming in today down there. They're going to be needing depolluting on Monday for three ton. So yeah, it's going to quickly do this sump now. Also, the engine's worn now, so the oil should be slightly thinner which means it'll drain faster and it'll get all the little last bits. I just don't want to get any on me. Oh, well, no, I'm not saying that. I think it are definitely ready for an oil change as well. Look at the oil. Not black, but get in there. Where's the oil filter on this? Oil filter? Where was it now? On top of that. I remember seeing it. Oh, it's there. Bloody hell, there's a lot of oil in this. Why have you done gearbox? Shut up. <laughs> why is it not draining? I mean, why is it not draining? It fucking is. Oh, fucking hell, it's No, whoa, you just shut it then. No, no, it's going now, it's going to have open that. Yeah, that needs to be open for it to drain. Thin oil, isn't it? Oh, huh? Now, have you looked online? Yeah, I've got the right stuff. Never mind the right stuff, have you got the right amount? Nine litres it takes. It takes nine litres, does it? Nine litres. Right. Nine litres and a smack in the nose for you, pal. Nah, I mean, I talk about smacking you in the nose, but I've never done it. You've got Have I? Oh, lip. Oh, yeah, lip, yeah, I'll give you a smack in the lip once, didn't I? <laughs> give me a fat lip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the filters just literally. Just take it straight off now, it's right, isn't it? Yeah, take the filter straight off and just put a bit of oil on what you're doing, mate. Ah. You'll have a little bit of oil in the filter. Yeah, I can do about that. Or should I just let it drain a bit more? Uh, no, boy, it's draining. There's nothing you can do. Just put the oil drain underneath the filter. Oh, god damn it. 
It's undoing, but it's just getting annoyed at the way. Oh, God's sake. I should have took that thing off the bottom, that panel. Damn it. Got oil everywhere. Look at that. Look at that. It's like fake tan. <laughs> you want what? decent fake tan, boys? There you go. Oil. Were it weren't too dirty then, Jim? Uh, no, not really. Still quite, it's gone a bit dark, right? but it's still clean-ish. Like? Full of metal filings. Huh? What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> Is it egg? <laughs> no, it's right. Oh my god, there's not actually a metal filing to be seen. Oh. The oil's drained now for a good half hour. Uh, we're going to top it up now with the new oil and the new filter and it it was already oiled up on the bit of seal wasn't it yeah that's good isn't it comes with oil on yeah just going to pop that on yeah. now yeah i know yeah Easy as that. Some new filters on. It's gonna let these little last little remains of oil drip and then top it up. Nine litres it takes. Uh we're gonna put that oil. This is the oil that we've got. This is the recommended stuff. It's Shell Helix Ultra. That's the one. Quite expensive oil, but better off being right. So we're gonna do that and then uh Keep checking through it. Right, Saturday afternoon. The man, the myth, the legends here. We've got nine hour Paul. How long are you staying for, Paul? I don't know, eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours. What was it last time, John? It was nine hours, wasn't it? Going over nine hours. But John was John was a little bit annoyed he was coming down, I'll be honest with you. But he saw the bag what he's brought. You've never you've always come bearing gifts. What are these? They're still frozen. Oh they're still frozen. They're still frozen. Unbelievable. Stick them in your freezer. Oh, no, no, we're gonna have them now. All of them? Nah. So, let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna set camera up here. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Are you a secret millionaire, Paul? <laughs> you definitely are. Oh my god. What's he got? I feel guilty because we never give you anything. I know, yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, oh, really oh, decent. Oh, my. I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to have one of them now. I am. Oh, Jesus they still walk. He's buttering you up. Look yeah. at them. Look wonder, at them. I wonder what he wants, John. He, he's going <laughs> to eat you with 50% discount on top. Are you them. having one, Paul? I will, mate, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> I will, mate, I'll wait. They are the dogs, they are. Wow. Mark, do you want one? Oh my god. So, when I finish eating this, the headlight washer caps, I had them, uh, I lost them both, so I had to buy some new ones. I had them repainted, and the, the job wasn't that good, was it, Paul? Mm. I'm not going to say the names, but. Paul's come and took him, mm. and he's redone him. There's two off colour. <laughs> right, we'll just not get this bit in. <laughs> See on camera. It's called nine hours. He's called nine hours. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was absolutely delicious. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoyed it. Oh, Place thank right you. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you just got that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I just got you staring into space. Right, I'm gonna make nine hours a quick brew now. It's already cost us a fortune me down here, but it come bearing gift, so. You've got to entertain him for a little bit. He doesn't even know what day it is. Monday morning. I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm thinking. Flat out, boys. Uh, should we attack Chris? <laughs> yeah, what then? Yeah. Oh, you want here, though, because the Oh, yeah, true. So we've got Chris, Chris in.
come back off holiday. Uh, three tons in depolluting from cars over the weekend. So he's going to be really, really busy. We've got Stuart in. He's just had a nice little week off. So he might actually be slightly depressed today, Stuart. Yeah, he will be. How depressed, Stuart? How depressed? Happy week off. He says he's not depressed after his week off, but I think he is. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is exchanging these cars for braking, loading the ramps. And this week, I'm only in today and tomorrow, because you know where I'm going, and I might tell you again in case you didn't know I'm going on a road trip. Do you know how many times have I said that? A lot. So I want to get as much scrap as possible gone, because that pile of scrap is getting, it's getting scary to look yes. at. And... There's a lot, there's a lot to it, like with stuff like that, we've got money in this, you see, it's like cash flow. And it, it's actually fire hazard as well. Uh, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot more to it than it just being sat there. And the prices are dropping. So we've got to get it gone quick. Yeah, quick. That's time. the plan. And I want to try and make it as easy for John and everyone else in the yard when I'm gone. So we'll quickly show you down there. I think uh, Kenny's in as well, John. Wow. Yeah. Yes, everyone keeps on saying, why am I not saying, everyone, I'm not being asking everyone if they're all right. Yeah, why, go on, ask them now if they're all right. So guys, hope everyone's managing on the fine, whatever day it is you're watching. Um, hope everyone's managing, hope everyone's all right, because I'm all right today. <laughs> well, I'll quickly show you down here what he's doing. We've got three tons on the bit. Oh my God, look, look at that. how that 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 is it? Chris, do it. Hey, yo. Oh, I'm Chris. Oh, I did it, did it. So, Nathan and Chris are just quickly getting the yard. Because we, we chucked all the cars down here on Saturday, just getting them out of the way. Oh, did you? You bloody maniac. Uh, so, all these need processing and going through. We've got a bit of an alpha, a score very, It's a very busy morning. It is a busy morning. As everyone's morning. just jumped in. What are you doing? Everyone's um, just mixed there. As soon as it hit 8 o'clock, everyone. Rack straight on. Everyone knows what they're doing. That's the beauty of it. When you've got it running in motion, everyone knows what they're doing. No it's clockwork. Just I like to use clockwork. Yeah, it's just it's, it's easier to manage. You know, it gets it takes time to get it to the point it is at now. But Nathan knows what he's doing. Chris knows what he's doing. Stuart knows what he's doing. Brian, everyone's working, busy, earning as much. I think I need to go spec savers. Why? I can't tell if I'm seeing things. Why? Well, just look over there. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> it's a high vis over there doing something. What the hell? Look, on you, Ken. Is that Ken? Eh? Yeah. Oh my! He's in, boy. James. He's never left. He's back from the dead. <laughs> in fact, he might have been down here the whole time. <laughs> have you been down here the whole time? Yeah, yeah. Right. So what Kenny's doing? These are some engines what I've ripped out. Now the power hand, it's unbelievable. It has some limitations, though. There's one thing that it. It will do, but I won't do it. Is these manifold carts off a of course or Vauxhall. These are the worst nightmare because you can't, they're not cast, they won't snap. They bend. They bend and you actually, trying to get them off, you lose, you're destroying the cart. Not every time, but I only need to lose one cart and it's basically one yeah. person's yeah. sort of day's wage. So I can't really- What, 30 quid? Well, not 20 quid. <laughs> so I, there's no point in me trying to get these with a power hand because, like I say, I only need to lose that one and it's game over. Good night, Vienna. So these are the only cats I won't attempt. So we get Kenny in every now and again, and I mean every now and again. Yeah. To take the cats off. And uh, I think he's been managing two days a month now, hasn't he? No, it was one last month, wasn't it, Kenny? I don't even know the last month. <laughs> hey, he's going for he's going for three days this month. Yeah. So. So don't give him too much stick because he's just we're trying to wean him back into it a little bit, aren't we, Kenny? Yeah. What have you got to say to your people, Kenny? You do remember what you've just told him. You told him that everything on Friday when you come down here with me. So you just told him exactly the same thing. Yeah, but the thing is, you won't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, we've got these steel. No, I didn't explain it as much. I didn't go into as much detail. These are the steel engines ready to go. Uh, I don't really put these straight in a bin because a bin would need to be on that side and then yeah. uh, it's just sat there for not a long time but it probably there's probably like a month here so it's 
so I'll pile them up. When there's a good amount, then I'll transfer them into a bit. I bet there's less than a month. Yeah, there's probably just less. But there's there's more engines there than you think. Yeah, true. The, the, don't forget, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten just there. That's yeah, ten true, cars. true. There's probably a hundred engines there. Yeah. I bet there is. I bet there is, yeah. Yeah, there will be. Hundred engines. That's what's that? Ten ton? No, it's probably more. Probably 15 more. Fifteen ton. They're averaging 15. about one hundred and fifty kg, two hundred kg. So I know there's, a, there's probably a full load. That wire bin's not looking so bad, is it? Wire bin, yeah, that's filling up from last time we weighed it in. Uh, so yeah, Imagine. all good. So I want to focus really on this pile of scrap this month, this week. Need to get that gone because I'm actually running out of room now. It's the mountain. And that goes all the way back. So we're going to get that shifted this week uh, and just get everything sorted when I'm not here. Yeah. But I will be recording when I go, so that should be some little meaty content <laughs> because I can guarantee one thing, when I'm gone, he will not record. I will be recording. What are you going to do, John? I'm going to do the best video you've ever watched. You said that last time. Yeah, but I will try this time and I will try. So you didn't you try watch. last time? I did try last time, but I need to try harder, so I will. Don't you worry. You've heard it here first. So, make sure to subscribe for next week's video. So John, don't be promising him the world. Oh, no. No, in fact, do promise him I've the world. I've done it now. I want you to make so, yourself look a fool. When when I do a bad video next week, Chase can now go back to this Give him clip some stick. now. Yeah, yeah. To when it's really This is bad. when he promised you guys the world. Listen, I know what I'm doing. Full of false promises, this guy. <laughs> he is a false promise. What? I'm joking. What do you mean? That. So, that, guys. Also, quickly, whilst we've got you all here, don't forget to give Dean and Luke a bit of stick. Yes. <laughs> Lots of stick. Let's get some bad stick and then yeah, come in. Dog yeah, dog them down, boy. Dog them down. Right. <laughs> Unbelievably tight. Right. right. I'm going to crack on before I crack one of you guys. <laughs> right, so, going. guys, it's Monday morning. We're going to crack on now. We'll get a bit more footage later on for you. Like, my, like I always say, hope everyone's managing and hope everyone's all right. Let's do this. Right, Zoe, you, you explain. Get in. Right, Zoe. Come on, Zoe. Come on, who's here? Won't just be not here, is it? Cheers. Our number, one, our number one fans come down today. <laughs> grab here, grab Basically, here. my grandma is the number one subscriber. Yeah. And she shouted at me because I didn't give her a shout out last time, didn't you, grandma? Yeah, I did. So yeah. she's here now, she's come for a brew, <laughs> and we've, we've given her one of the white cups. Yeah. <laughs> With no sign on. With no sign on. Half an hour to get a brew. <laughs> That's yeah, but Johnny's slow with the brews, you see. That's is the it problem. Is it? Well, no, it was actually made by me and James and you. So yeah, we all made it. Just it like it's yeah. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. Yeah, that's why I have it. Two tea bags in it. More milk. More milk. More milk. Or a bit of water, so right, please. Right, Jarrett's here now taking a quick shells. But before he does that, he wants to meet the number one subscriber, don't you? Certainly sure, do. I'm all getting that you. Grandma! Legends family meet. So yeah, we're gonna leave it there. Right, Brad, uh, not Brad. I need to call to you, Bradford. <laughs> Fruity's having a bit of a strop here. And I, no, and I am on. I'm on Fruity's side. To be honest with you, we had a car booked in at eight o'clock this morning, right? And we say to the customers, the driver will ring you before he sets off, and he always wants contact because he's done it before, where you've set off as agreed. And then you've got there and it's like, oh, I'm not scrapping it anymore. Yeah. So I always say he's going to ring you, make sure you answer the phone. And you've been ringing all day and not answered after. I've rung from 8 o'clock this morning. I've had to rearrange all my jobs. Yes. I've been and got two other infilled jobs because two of them didn't answer this morning. One of them's rung back, so I've been to Halifax and got that one. So that one's now done. But I've also done Renault break. Can we get uh, any a little violin noise in the background, right? Carry on. <laughs> 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 Carry on. I want, I want so, this violin noise in the background. So I just. I, 
just need to know where you're up to, don't you? You know what I mean? You, you can't be setting off without knowing that the customer is going to be there. Right. Especially when it's an hour's journey. Before we lose the viewers, long story short, <laughs> <laughs> answer the phone. <laughs> answer the phone. That's all we ask. Not yeah. a big ask. Just answer the phone. Uh, so, Javid's just been down for an exchange. This pile of shells I'm going to be loading in this 50 yarder behind me. Now, in an ideal world, I would have preferred the bins to have been next to the pile, but because it's all just up in the air at the moment with the scrap bay, I'm going to have to grab the shells from behind me and do a 180 degrees and drop them in the bin. It's a little bit of a, well, it's not a pain, like, but it's a lot easier if the shells are next to the bin in, out like that. That's the, that's the plan. Uh, but right now, we're just going to do it this way. So I'll show you me loading. Uh, I've not really shown much footage of the old Atlas, so you'll enjoy that. Uh, from my point of view. Oh, is she going? Right, I'll just go and say bye to my grandma. We've got the bin in, doing the alloys. Uh, we used to let the alloys build up uh, to probably like 100, 200, but we're trying to just keep on top of them now, aren't we, Kenny? Yeah, Oh, yeah. We'll quickly show one alloy getting done as well. No, because you're jinxing. No, I won't. That one, Kenny. That's a corker. So, I'm going to show you how this works. Now, I'm going to have to set the camera up, Kenny, really. Uh, oh, no, I'll just hold it around the corner. So, I'm going to stick my arm around this corner now and show you the theory of it. Okay. Go straight in the bin. Just like that. Oh yeah, you're the bin, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm gonna teleport on the scrap handler. Cameras a bit. Oof. James is going on holiday tomorrow, so he's still on the uh, machine now, just loading the bin up for the engines just to make it easier for us. I'm just turning all these computers off. Um, you take the pressure off us, obviously, for the week is not in. So we've just had um, a quick meeting with everyone, just like getting things in the, just like nipping a few things in the bud. Um, just like communication, just get people talking, see where, where the problems are arising and people having problems with other people. Um, because when you've got like quite a few staff, like things can... Who's here? Things can always... Um... Some people like hold it in and don't say anything, but it's, so it's always nice to get things in the air. So we've done a meeting with everyone just now. And then we're... Oh, James. James! Why? I was in the motion of videoing, doing my segment. Carry on. Yeah, I will do. So yeah, that was just James the editor. So yeah, um, but yeah, some people had a few things to say, but we're just like cracking down with lakes and people not coming in, people not bringing in sick. Because when someone doesn't come in for that day, it has a knock-on effect through the week and puts it does put a lot of pressure on me and James. Because when we can see 
the business needs to earn this amount of money every day and when someone's not in that day it really has a big effect on things like backlog of work in other areas so I need to know when they're going to be in like and I can't be dealing with too many sick days and stuff like that so and lates and laxy daisy like if, if if they respect me I'll respect them type of thing do you know what I mean so everyone seemed happy you give employee of the month to three tons so give him some comments in the comment section I think he appreciated it which is good so yeah we've had a good day like I said James is going on holiday tomorrow I've not felt well today I probably look ill now I've just I've just been totally drained so I've had to power through today but I was still here and I still got the job done so I'm going to quickly shut all the computers down now um, and I'll quickly show you what James has been doing just now so I'm now ready to go oh what's bloody happened to this now so I'm... what are you doing you mess up right go on Go on, watch that side. Come on. Straight. Straight at that. Go on. Let's keep it straight. Yeah, go on. Let's go straight, you mate. Keep on going. Ah, I'll see you in a bit. So yeah, James is still going now, filling the bin up with engines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. But we've managed to do a hell of a lot of skips today. He's probably already showed it on the videos. But loading up with a power hand can be a little bit awkward because obviously you're only loading up at that time. And as for the um, scrap handler, it can do bigger scoops. What is going on with this camera? Sorry, boys. So James is finishing off now. I've probably said that about four times now. Uh, Should I tell them that? What? Should I tell them that I'm just finishing off? You are just finishing off. So I'm loading the steel engines now in this 50 yard door. Uh, I've tried to make it as easy as possible for when I'm not here. Now I know a lot of you keep on saying we need a full time machine operator. In case you didn't notice, I do know that. But with me and John, we put the pressure on ourselves. If it means I've got to work late some nights, I will. Or start early. That's what I've been doing. Uh, I want to keep the pressure on and hold out as long as I can until I get an operator. But uh, yeah, I'm getting everything gone, all the bins are loaded. So when I'm actually not here, there's four bins what can go. So three ton might only need to load two or three shells on his own. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, equivalent so, yeah. to one. You are? Equivalent to one. Yeah, which is equivalent to one bin, yeah. <laughs> uh, I have said to him he can redeem his name. He actually said he's going to try and go for a hashtag 2.9 ton. Uh, right, so let's get it in the comments. How much weight do you reckon is going to be in three tons um, bins? Yeah, get it in wait, the comments. Right, I'm going. Right, I need to go.